Welcome back to Upper Michigan today, everybody. We're live at the Ordog Brewing Company in downtown Marquette, getting ready for the Festival of the Angry Bear, which is just five days away. It should be a beautiful Saturday to celebrate all things spring and sour beer here on Spring Street. Now we're back with Amanda Corshain, the events manager here at the brewery. We're talking about merch now. First of all, you've got an uh, Angry Bear shirt on. Yeah. Is that one that people can purchase this yeah, year or is that from is, years past? This is, oh, I'm sorry. This is one. <laughs> this is from this year, yes. And then we also have this available in a yellow color so um, we have these two cool new t-shirts um, with this is a new a new design that we have this year as well a new kind of logo if you will but um, we will also have these cool ringer tees oh I like that one yeah Ooh, that one's cool yep um, which we've never had that type of design before it's got a nice vintage feel to it it does yes and then I'm really excited about this um, splint paint splatter i think it was actually called galaxy but um this is our classic bears beers or doc brewing mm -hmm. company um saying that we have um this has been a crowd favorite so we will have some of these available as well and then we have this is a newer design for this year as well um with this little bear guy down here so we have this um in a few different colors as well um and then last but not least if it's a little chilly Oh, we please. have some awesome little lightweight zippies. Um, this is going to be the front, and then on the back, again, it's this bubble letter design here. So we will have this available in uh, another color as well. I believe it's a green color. So, so if the metaphorical beer sweater isn't enough, exactly. you get a literal yeah. beer sweater <laughs> to put on. A literal beer sweater that you can wear that will help keep you nice and toasty, warm all day and all night. Who did you team up with for, for these t-shirts? So we work with um, Repeater Press. Um, so he does our posters that we also have. Um, and then we work with Forrester Designs. Um, he is um, the brain behind our, our poster um, and some of our other stuff this year. So he's um, our mugs and all that stuff. So we have a great, great crew that we that we get to work with. Um, and then a couple of new things, now that you have that, Tia, um, <laughs> we added this to our, our um, merch lineup this year. So it's uh, those little foam you can stick your hand right in there and just really get the party going in the tent. So oh, there yeah. you oh, go. Finger. Yeah. <laughs> um, a couple, a couple <laughs> other things that we don't have yet. Um, I believe they're called terrible towels, you know, when you... Yep. And it, yeah, and you can just really oh, get... Yeah. Yep, you're getting into it. So we'll have some of those. Um, so we got, we got a, a, just a really great lineup of merch. Um, in addition to, we'll have koozies and, um, you know, some other normal sweatshirts and t-shirts available. Um, and then if you do pre-buy your tokens, mm -hmm. um, which is highly encouraged and you are just really in the party mode, maybe you bought one of your buddies a beer, there will be more tokens for sale at the festival. Um, and then also whatever extra we have of the mugs and stuff, if you aren't able to make it into town until the Saturday before, um, or the Saturday of, I should say, there should still be some available to purchase um, at Angry Bear. So. so getting your tickets ahead of time is encouraged. That mm -hmm. might help alleviate some of the waiting time. Because exactly. a lot of people come down for the yes. Festival of the Angry Bear. But mm -hmm. if you don't get them ahead of time, don't fret. We'll right. still get them. Yes, exactly. Yep, you'll still get them. There will still be plenty of time. Um, but, yeah, if you just come in, pre-buy your tokens, it's almost like a, just a you can walk in and head right to the, right to the beer line um, if that's what you're here for. Or right to the food trucks or, you know, yeah. whatever, yeah, <laughs> whatever yeah. you're here. To, to do um, so 3 p.m. is we're gonna kick it off with some live music and the food trucks and the barrel aged yeah. awakening we're super excited so tell me more about these food trucks that we can expect this weekend yeah so we have um, you know we have our, our favorites or our staples um, the burger bus smelted Dia um, disco dogs is gonna be back this year um, the Coney Island food truck um, and then Drippy Hippie Sandos, Ice Cream Sandos, um, are going to be a new addition this year. As well as, we're super excited, all rolled up. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be making their Marquette debut at the, at the Festival of the Angry Bear. So. I'm excited about that one. Yeah. I've been hearing about it for so long, and <laughs> I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I know. I've heard about it, too, but I didn't know when they would be like opening like or making their debut. That's like a... To like an egg roll. It is, yeah, yeah. I think one of the one of the egg rolls that I've heard a lot about is the Reuben egg roll, yeah. and so as a lover of Reuben sandwiches, I'm <laughs> super excited to try those. So, 
Yeah. I've been keeping my ear to the wall, like, yeah. okay, when, 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 is, when are they opening up? When is it going to happen? <laughs> so there's so much more than just beer on yes. tap this yes. weekend. All right, well, we have to take another break. When we come back, we're going to shift gears for just a segment. We'll talk a little bit about the solar eclipse happening this afternoon. Michael was live this morning at the National Weather Service, so he put something together for us. So stick around. We'll be right back.